Hello, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I haven't uploaded in a while because I have had surgery. So that is a reason that I the reason that I haven't uploaded in a while. But in this video I will show you the new part of my of my binary to decimal decoder. I have built this part, as is a PCD to decimal decoder, in another video, which uh, I will put a link in the top right of the screen in one of those fancy pop-ups. The purple part is the new part, which is which is a, a binary to BCD decoder using double double. Uh, I think it is called. So, yes, it is a two-step process to convert the binary to decimal. First step is to convert the binary to a BCD, which is a in-between step between binary and decimal, which has a little bit of both things. And then it is de decoded to decimal. This yellow part is the fastest possible uh, uh, BCD to, uh, to decimal decoder, but this purple part is not the fastest binary to decimal decoder. So it basically works by having a lot of these modules in a special way that each module, if it if the number inserted is 4 or lower, I think 4 uh, is the number, it, but if it changes, then it uh, just sends 4 as output. But is it, if it is 5 or higher, it adds 3, so 5 becomes 8, 9 becomes, ne, ne, 5 becomes 8, 6 becomes 9, and so on. And a lot of these, it is very complicated. If you really want to know the details, I will put a link, if I don't forget, to a, to a very old uh, explaining video of someone else in the video description. So these are the input lines. It is built to be inputted every number of the entire number at the same time. So not first this one, then that one, then that one. It has to all be inputted simultaneously. Yeah, so a computer can do it fine, but you can't of course flick the levers all at the, at the same time. So that is why this extra yellow part is temporarily here. Because if you input a change in the number while it is processing, then it can break the instant repeaters. So that is not good. If you change the number when it is already done with processing, it is fine. But you shouldn't change the number while it is processing it. So if we so now the input the binary is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So of course the output is also zero. So if I change it to uh, one, 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 and then hit this button to input entire number at the same time, then it will show two five five because that is the highest number you can get with eight bits. So if I then change it to one zero one zero one zero one zero, it should uh, one seven zero given output one seven zero. And of course just zero 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 lots of zeros and then a one, of course just because of one. 
though that are just a few examples if I instead of the first only change the last one to a 1 then it should become 128 so yeah that is my binary to decimal de decoder I will put it this will be part of my redstone computer project I am working on so if you want to continue seeing more of that then please subscribe to the channel and like the video and maybe comment some suggestions so I think I have said everything that there is to say so of course because of surgery I couldn't make videos for the past weeks or so but that will be now again I will be again making videos so bye